At the moment, Ultravox are in the recording studio laying down the tracks for a new LP. Can you stick a bit of, uh, sort of rhythm sound on this one? Many of those tracks will be produced on one of the group's electronic instruments. Can you give us four in there, Akid? Well, stop playing tricks on me. Can we try it again from the top? The milk bowl sound. Ultravox have been using synthesizers for some time. This, um, this synthesizer here um, is like one of the first synthesizers that was commercially available. I mean, it's quite an old one, but we still use them. Um, they're, they're very basic synthesizers. It's an analog synthesizer that uh, was developed by Dr. Robert Moog quite a few years ago. Um, the problem with these things is this is this is the type of synthesizer we had when I joined the band at first. And when you play sort of hot, sweaty clubs, the things we got to tune all the time. Um, it's, it's basically a three oscillator synthesizer. So you can, you can actually switch off one of the voices, one of the oscillators, they get a very thin sound, very, very normal, basic sound. But when you start adding the other oscillators, giving it a bit more depth and body, you can tune these things together. You hear it tuning into itself there. And this is the actual synth that we did, um, the sort of Vienna part on the bass part, the, uh, you know. But I mean, th these things um, now, are, uh, you can't buy them now, I mean, uh, technology's moved on uh, far too much to, to uh, sell people things like this anymore. It's, a, it's actually a, it's a, an antique synthesizer now, you know, it's about 15 years old. Uh, we've moved on to this type of thing now, um, which is a German synthesizer. Actually, this, uh, this synthesizer, when you create a sound on it, it sounds as though, although you've never heard the sound before, you've never heard anything like the sound before, it sounds as though it should be an acoustic instrument because it has overtones. It's got 2,000 waveforms in it, so the actual waveforms can change when you play the, the sound, like a normal instrument would. And when you play one note on a piano, there's so many overtones and so many waves and forms inside that sound that this does the same type of thing, except you're making totally inhuman noises from it. Now, what we've got in, in this, uh, this thing today, in this synthesizer, is, uh, is me. I mean... Uh, That's me going, ah. Uh, 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 this particular instrument here, or any of these instruments, you can give to you know 20 different keyboard players and they'll come up with 20 different types of sound and 20 different feels that you can that a keyboard player could play. Uh, it just it, it does anything you want it to do. <laughs> Once you've actually written a song, then you've got to decide what type of sound uh, you want to use to put this, you know, the best way to put the song across. Yeah. 